Hey guys, this is a small tutorial on how to create an image file, an ISO file using ProShow Producer. I am pretty sure the same instructions will be valid for ProShow Gold. Um, this video is actually made for a friend of mine, Ron, and I'm pretty sure someone out there will probably benefit from this small tutorial. With that said, you want to fire up your ProShow. Now I already have an existing test show. I'm going to open that up, which consists of nothing but with a few stock photographs here. Now, if you already have an existing show and you're coming back to make a, a changes, maybe you're going to add more photos, change the transitions, delete photos, make a title for it, change the color, whatever you need to do, uh, make sure you save it. Once you're happy with your show, you're going to go to Create Output and then DVD. Those will be the key here, Create Output and then DVD. Click on DVD. Here you're going to see the menu. This menu right here, it's actually what you're going to see on your TV set once you pop in the DVD. Once you're happy with the way this looks, you modify this, you change the template, um, you can click on create custom menu, you can change the font, uh, make the title, but for here I'm going to leave, uh, leave it as test one. Um, once you're happy with the way this looks, which is going to reflect the same way it's going to look on your TV, you want to go to burning. Here's the small little tricky part. I always thought Pro Show didn't have this feature and I got confused at first. But you want to change the DVD writer to ISO. By default, the DVD writer is going to say your default drive letter. In my case, is E, which is my DVD burner. You want to change this to ISO image file. Now, before I go on, the, the purpose of the image file for those that don't know is uh, it serves a couple of purposes. Uh, the best purpose is if you're a person that needs to create a show and you need to pump out copies at any given time, maybe you need to make 10 copies today, 5 copies tomorrow, 20 copies over the weekend, an image is going to shave a considerable amount of time. And you don't have to render the file every time to create one DVD if you choose the default method. Once you create the image, all the rendering, all your show is going to be compiled in one file that can be opened up and burned by just about any reputable burning program. So here, double check, ISO file, then create. By default, it's going to open up your My Documents. In my case, in My Documents, I got a subfolder called My DVD Images. That way I know where my images are. But we'll start from scratch. It'll be my documents. You can either save it under your my documents, but in my case, I have the subfolder, my DVD images. So let me just call this test one. And it'll go through the rendering process. Um, it's going to be rather quick for me since I have like a couple of photos, no transitions, no videos, and I have a quad core processor, which probably going to help out. Of few seconds here it's creating the image and the image is complete uh, keep in mind this went rather quick for me only because I have a few photos and I'm one show the bigger your show is or your project is and depending on the speed of your computer the rendering process can take anywhere from 15 up to 40 minutes now to confirm that I'm going to go to My Documents, and I save the image in a subfolder called My DVD Images, and there you see the image, Test 1 ISO. Now once you have that image, you can pretty much burn it with any burning program out on the market. And I used to burn it with uh, Nero. I haven't installed it on this computer yet, but uh, you can right click on it and open with and choose whatever default programs you got. In my case, I'm using Roxio Creator, but my most favorite program that I'm using in the meantime is Power ISO. Simply because Power ISO is a program that I use to open and manipulate basically any type of image out there. And I find this program 
very flexible for me, including the fact that it also mounts the images. I love this program. So if you have Nero, Roxo, Creator, simply open with. Once you open it with the program, we'll do a quick run here. Uh, Roxio. And then Roxio will tell you, burn this image, we're two, and then go. If you have Roxio Creator 10, it'll look a little bit different but it will have the same comp uh, same concept. Choose image, copy to, and then hit go. When you choose Nero, Nero will give you an option how many copies you want. So if you need to make 25 copies, you can put 25. It will simply eject and alert you to put in a, another DVD in. It will kind of keep those things on track. Hopefully this video has helped you out and good luck.